Okay, just got this John Deere uh, SUV or XUV, like it a lot. Um, I didn't want to pay the extra money to have the winch installed, so um, I did it myself. So I ended up ordering the Mad Dog, Dog Products Complete Winch System, um, thinking that it would be pretty straightforward to install. It wasn't bad, but um, just a couple things I thought I'd just go over with you and, and tell you what we did. So first of all, here's the winch itself. Uh, it attaches to the frame. The, uh, the uh, system comes with a plate that attaches right to the XUV. Um, and then you attach the winch right to that plate. Um, if you come over onto this side, you can see the, uh, the connections from the, uh, the connector plate to, to the winch here. Um, and uh, so the, th this is the um, 590M. It comes pre-wired with a harness for a winch. However, there's no instructions on that winch or how that wiring works. I could not figure out how to work, the, work it with the existing harness. So I ended up just installing what came with the, the winch itself and just bypassing everything. So um, we'll just go over uh, a couple of things here. It's all installed now, but I'll try to kind of go over the details of what we did to install it. Okay, a couple things here real quick. I do have the, uh, the brush guard on mine. It's only done with two bolts, so you can pull this up. So it's a lot easier. You can access everything probably without doing this, but it's a lot easier to get to this thing. By coming under here, there's four bolts on this thing. They're um, star wrenches, they come right off. And then this whole thing comes up and you have access to everything. I ended up mounting my uh, connection right to the uh, molding of the plastic. This is hard molding here. Um, it made a firm connection. You can't move that. It doesn't jiggle at all. And just make sure you got lock screws on there. Um, as I said, the, these these are the terminals that go to the winch. These are the terminals that go back to the battery. Um, I, I I bought some extra tubing just to make everything uh, nice, and then I just kind of um, tied it all together so I didn't have uh, loose wires running everywhere. Um, this goes up to the. Uh, to the rocker switch and I'll go over what I did there in a minute and then this goes to the keyed power source that was a little bit tricky and I'll go over which wires you want to attach that to and make that work um, and then here the battery part of it again this is fairly straightforward batteries under the seat under the passenger side the one thing I did have to do is the uh, terminals that were supplied with the winch were a little bit smaller and so I did end up having to just drill those out a little bit um, more to make them fit on there. They were pretty small, um, but there was just barely enough room to get the diameter I needed to get them onto the, to, to the bolt. So anyway, so that just the red and black, and then this, I just routed this underneath. It's really close to where the other winch wire is, but it goes underneath, up through the frame, making sure that you don't make contact with the drive shaft here. So I just uh, did a couple of uh, zip ties real quick to make sure I could keep it away from there and keep it mounted. But I basically followed the same path that the wiring harness takes for the, uh, the, the winch harness. Okay, so um, this came, this was made for kind of a, more of a uh, ATV type handlebar mount. I really didn't like that. You have these knockouts on the John Deere that are meant for uh, ro rocker switches. So I went, and I'll leave the uh, the number on this of where I got it, but I just, off eBay, I bought this for eight bucks. Uh, basically, I just cut this off here, and it's basically a direct wire match, green, red, black, green, red, black onto this thing. And then this thing, once you get it on there, just pops <clears throat> right into the into the dashboard like that. I kind of messed up this rubber gasket a little bit here. It's not super needed, but, um, but anyway, it's nice tight fit. looks like it matches there and it's supposed to be meant to be there. So I'm using mine for a snow plow. So I wanted it accessible where I was driving. Um, the, the, the access for the, uh, um, so the manufacturer one comes up through the glove box, which I didn't think was very convenient. So I didn't want to do that. So I did put mine right here, just have it right on the plate. Now, one other thing here, and again, this wasn't super tricky, but I just, just finding out which wire has power in it and how to do this. So basically, um, and I'll, I'll go over how to put this when I put it back on of how this uninstalls, but this is the ignition switch here. So this plugs into the back of the ignition switch. Uh, and you probably want to test the wires yourself, but I found that these two yellow ones um, have keyed power. In other words, when the key turns, those will have power to them. So I just took the power cord um, from the uh, uh, the winch um, 
contact plate and let's go back up here and show you where that red wire is that's the one that comes out that's this guy right here this does need to go to a power source it will not work without going to a power source you can go directly to the battery or a always live power source I like to have mine on the keyed switch that way it, the, only, the winch will only work when the keys on you know just making sure that it, it doesn't draw the power when you don't want it to draw the power so anyway I just I just I just took this apart um, I'm not the best solder in the world but I just put a little bit of solder there I just wrapped that wire around there soldered it on there and then basically this just snaps <clears throat> right back up into the switch here like this and then this holds those in there whoops I think I got it backwards okay so um, anyway it wasn't backwards in there uh, it just needs to come all the way up there once you get it up there that locks it in place so that it won't back back out when you put the ignition switch on it <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and this is some extra cable from the red cord I'll, I'll go ahead and fix that in a minute and then just make sure this gets back into the the boot here okay so I've gone ahead and uh, just put everything back in here just got a little uh, tie here and then I wrapped up the excess wire so then the ignition switch it just plugs back onto there so um, just make sure it lines up correctly then it snaps right on there and then that, the ignition itself you just have to route it down through here and it comes back up here it's a little tight to get in through there it just fits like that and obviously just reverse this process to take it off but you basically have to um, uh, nuts whatever you want to call them that just go on here these plastic nuts that just kind of hold it in place I'm not sure why there's two but they were on there originally so I'm going to put both of them back on here okay one thing I didn't mention but um, again to get underneath the dash here you can probably go up underneath here but it gets really um, crowded with the pedals and stuff I found it was a lot nicer just to go down through the uh, the cup holder here. Cup holder, just uh, make sure you got it on the right way. It fits that way like that, I believe. Nope, that wasn't the right way the first time. And then just, that just snaps down there like that. Okay, like I said, this I'm just showing how to put this back on and obviously just the reverse process to take it off. I just want to show it's it's so easy to take off I don't think it's worth not trying to do this without taking it off and then you just have these four star sh screws here and they just uh, go back in like that so four screws in four screws out so okay so uh, I got everything put back together so as you can see pushing the button right now nothing works now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ignition switch winch out winch in and that's about it like I said I uh, uh, it wasn't a complex process but there I don't know if these are so new there wasn't a lot of uh, information online about this so I thought I'd post this real quick video any questions just let me know and I'll try to help you out